What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Look, I know I'm a bag whore, self admitted. I don't even want to go to no therapy or no classes, no group sessions, nothing like that. I like bags and I can't stop and won't stop. So just deal with it. Let's do it. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Wow Box Sling Bag. You know, I'm thinking I might be late to the party, man. I'm kind of an old cat. So back where I come from, all we had was duffels, we had backpacks, and there was the era of the fanny pack. And um, then there was, you know, in the late 90s slash mid 2000s, there was the man bag, like the Merce. But now, you know, cats are walking around with these bad boys. You know, the nomads, they walk around with these bad boys, which are known as sling bags. You just, you know, it's just a one strap deal. You just sling over your shoulder or crossbody style. So I don't know, maybe this is something I might get into after this, man. This is my first sling bag sent over from Wildbox. I think I'm gonna go ahead and check it out with you guys. I've already packed it out. Now I've packed this thing out like full, almost to the brim, right? I don't suggest you carry it this way. I just wanna demonstrate, you know, how much stuff you can actually fit in here. Uh, but I do recommend you carry less because it is a shoulder bag and you don't want one shoulder, you know, all worn out. And then eventually one shoulder is gonna be all swole and the other one's gonna be all atrophied. So <laughs> don't, don't stuff this bag, man. You can put about 20, 30 pounds in this thing if you do it right. Let's start by taking a look at the front side of it. It's a handsome bag, man. Now this is what I would consider a unisex bag. I could definitely see both sex is rocking this bag um but you know i'm a dude so we're gonna call it a, a little man bag today okay so so this is the frontal view there's your side view and there's your other side view this thing is loaded with pockets but i don't even know where to start first man i need to come up with some type of you know like system to do bags but since this cup is staring me in the face right now let's talk about this cup right here man this is my special edition jdl cup right here just doing life that's the name of my business you know what's up and uh yeah my girl kelly made this you know i know this is all about the bag but i gotta talk about my friend kelly man she's awesome she's out of florida she has a business called kelly's cups and all things glitter so if you want yourself a custom cup mm, there you go check that out man look at it it's got that nice glaze on it got the logo looking all pretty and stuff this is the wood grain she thought i might like wood grain and i do i love it thank you so much kelly look link in the description kelly's cups and all things glitter man so let's put this to the side and i put this in the bag to show you that it can hold a full-size water bottle man right here but remember it's on the outside and it will push into the inside of your bag so don't put anything too big in there you're just going to lose maybe an inch and a half maybe two inches if you put a full-size water bottle in there because it will push into the inside of the bag now let's go back around to the back side of the bag because this is important because some of us are left-handed some of us are right-handed you know shout out to all all the left-handed people we make the world go round now you can actually rock this bag on your left shoulder or right shoulder it does have a little clip right here you just and it's all it's you know it's very stable it's got this nice stitched canvas right here and you can just clip it on either side if you want to and then boom getting into the strap you got this nylon strap right here this which is adjustable and that's the only adjustment point of the bag and then you get into this canvas or padded canvas with a, a nice breathable mesh underneath it uh, that's the strap right there so it does sit on your shoulder nice and I'll, I'll put up some b-roll of me wearing this bag and stuff and remember as you're watching that b-roll I am 240 pounds and I'm sitting right at 510 so and I'm not a I'm not a skinny any, like a slim guy so I'm a I might soak up this bag is what I'm saying my back is wide bruh so this bag is going to look relatively small on me and as it should because it's not meant to be a full-size backpack it is a sling bag meant to carry kind of your minimal nomad kind of items right here you have a little bit of ventilation in the stitching there's some padding along the back side but it creates some ventilation right here so you don't get too sweaty and stuff like that so there is some breathability on the back of this bag then you got your handle right here which is some of that more of that nylon it's real tough stitched very well then you got some pleather right here that's more like an actual vinyl and then let's go over to this side pocket right here all right so this pocket I don't know why I packed it like this, but I stuffed this pocket to its capacity. It does not have a snap. It has a magnetic mechanism right here. You know, one of those magnetic clips right there. There it is. And it does clip very well. All you got to do is get it in the vicinity and it doesn't feel like it's going to come off anytime soon. It's 
it attaches to itself very well. You actually do have to pull on it. But I like this pocket because it's not too big and not too small. Look at all the gear I got in here. So this is like what I dubbed as my personal, like personal hygiene pocket right here. You got that dental floss. You know I don't go nowhere without no dental floss, man. Then you got some, some lotion and some hand sanitizer. I keep it in that plastic so it won't leak and destroy everything in my bag. Got that gum. I'm gonna keep telling y'all, man, somebody offer you some gum, take it, bruh, take it. <laughs> then you got your pick, gotta keep that beard sharp. And then what is this? All right, some breath stuff. Gotta keep the breath fresh, man. You be all up in people's face after eating like the, the full on onion portobello burger. And now you're on somebody's face and you got like burger hanging out one side and you got onions coming out the other side. And it's just, it's just bad for business, man. Don't talk to people like that. Get out of my face. But that's that was all that was in this pocket right here. And it's just big enough to put your hand in there. You can put some business cards or maybe your wallet if you don't mind somebody unflapping it, taking your wallet. But it's just big enough and just small enough to where you can put an, a nice amount of stuff in here this is actually my favorite pocket man just because it's such easy access and it's just a perfect size but we got more pockets to explore so let's just go into it look right here what we have we got this d-ring right here i don't know what you're going to use this for to be honest with you maybe you could hook on you know the the sling or something like that i, I have no idea this is up to you what you're going to use this for these are actual buckles okay so these don't snap or anything special like that this is the real deal buckle and these are vinyl uh, that is not leather that is vinyl but right here this is a special pocket too because a lot of people might need some more quick access right here i got my phone in here it's not uh, lined with anything special like velvet or anything like that. It's just straight up canvas in there. I put my business cards and some and my phone in there just for some quick access with the bag. Let me see if there's anything else in there. Nope, it is empty now. So that was on the flap. So you could just put the bag down, reach in there real quick without having to unbuckle or unzip too much stuff to get to your phone or whatever you got in there. But we do have this one right here, which we need to get into. And you know what? This is one of them classy bags, man. You just gotta take your time, get into it. You know, you don't be snatching over buckles and unclipping stuff. This is a gentleman's bag or a lady's bag. This is a unisex bag, but you gotta take your time and you gotta get in here to get any goodies. So right here, every gentleman needs some type of journal or something, right? Everybody needs to be writing down their thoughts and planning out their day. So I keep my nomadic planner in that pocket. And this planner, it's it's not a small planner. Well, it's not the smallest planner, but it is definitely not the biggest. I've seen some huge planners, but it fits right there, nice and snug in that pocket with some room to go. Let's take that out, put it off to the side. There's nothing else in there, but we just uncovered that we have another full size pocket right here. Told you, man, this thing is loaded. It's got pockets on pockets. What do I have in here? And I was just stuffing stuff in here. So I got an Osmo uh, Mobile 3 in here and that fits in there. You can fit like all your Osmo gear or what, I don't know what you're packing. I'm a tech guy, man. I'm a videographer slash photographer slash tech nerd. So I'm, I got this thing loaded up with a bunch of tech, but whatever you put in here, it's gonna fit because this is a bulky item. Let's put that off to the side, flip that flap, flip that flap. Okay, <laughs> we gotta flip that flap though. Flip the flap and then, uh, yeah, I guess we get into the main pocket now. So let's get into this main pocket. You got your dual zippers right here. They are not lockable. This is not a, you know, uh, check-in luggage type of bag. So there's not a lockable system here, which is okay because this should be on your person, either on your shoulder or crossbody at all times. Now, let's, once we get into this pocket, you're gonna see some stuff, man. First of all, I'm gonna greet you with this 13 inch laptop. I tried a 15 and it will not fit, man. You just don't have enough space. Let me just show you. All right, see how the corners are coming up here? 13 inch laptop is about as much as you're gonna fit in here. And just to tell you uh, what kind of laptop will fit, this is an HP Spectra 360 that I've scratched all to be damned because I was doing this video. So let's just take that out <laughs> and put it off to the side. And then what's left in here is my Galaxy Tab S4. I keep forgetting what size this is. I am absolutely positive though. It is a 10 inch tablet and it will fit with the case. It's much smaller than a 13 inch uh, laptop. So it will definitely fit with the case. Now you do have some security for your laptop and tablet because this is a, a, a stretchy strap that has some Velcro on it. So you can just lock it in place just like that. That way, if your bag falls over, over with the zipper open, your laptop isn't gonna come crashing out. Then you're crying because all your stuff is damaged. Now let's get into some more pockets. So we we got this pocket right here that is adjacent to the outer pockets and it is about three quarters of a hand deep and you can fit what can i fit in here let me grab something real quick see if i can fit my phone in here 
All right, so this is a Galaxy Note 10 Plus and it will not fit, like barely. Oh, wait, wait, it does fit, it fit in there. So you can actually fit a Galaxy Note 10 Plus in there, which means you can fit quite a bit of other things because this is a freaking very large phone. So that fits there. I got a battery bank right here in this pocket, right there, can you see that? All right, and then this is just some literature that it came with, but it's another pocket, same as the, uh, the one I had the battery charger in. You got some pen slots right there. You got two very roomy pen slots. You could definitely fit some highlighters and stuff in there as well, not just pens. So now let's get into the main pocket where I've just grabbed some techie, nerdy stuff to put in here. Who's that dude or girl who's always traveling with a Bluetooth speaker? I like this little thing, man. This is my DOS little mini sound box or whatever it is. But it just came out of here, man. It's a little Bluetooth speaker just in case you always want to carry your tunes with you and blast them out loud uh, for some reason when you're in public. And then for you gamers out there, for you hardcore uh, mobile gamers, I got my G Lap or Glap. I don't know which one it is. Is it G Lap or Glap? Anyways, it's the Glap controller. And uh, yeah, it goes with the Note 10. But either way, this is another big bulky item I just want to throw in here and show you how much uh, room this thing has. Let me turn it off. And then uh, this is going to be it right here. We've got my Skull Candy Crusher. So it packs an over ear set of headphones right there. And, you know, I put all this delicate tech in here. And the bottom is lightly padded. It's just got a thin padding on the bottom. And the back is padded with relatively the same amount of padding. So you do have some protection for your laptop and stuff like that. It's just not going to be like it, don't be dropping the bag okay if you got delicate stuff in there don't be dropping the bag it is canvas and it's lightly padded it's not a tech bag this is a this is an everyday carry man this is for you edc people you freaking nomads out there but to be honest with you man i wasn't sure what to think about the sling bag thing but uh i think i think i kind of like it now man this this bag it's like it's like if my bigger canvas backpack had a little brother like sometimes you got this gigantic bag, right? And you just need to carry like a few items. And then you got this gigantic bag that's just empty and it's just got like, I don't know, a set of headphones in it and a book. It's like, man, why not carry this big old bag? Well, you don't have to anymore. They make these little things now, these sling EDC bags, man. So this is pretty cool. We're in the era of the sling now. And I'm just gonna have to jump on the movement, man. Shout out to Wildbox for making great quality products because this is good canvas, man. I love the color of this canvas. This is more of a dark, dark brown uh, vinyl right here. It would be nice if this was the same leather as they used on their previous bags I've had on this channel. Man, this bag. I mean, it already looks fantastic, but this that would send this bag into overdrive if it was that same leather. But shout out to Wildbox for making great quality products, man. The stitching on here is on point. This is just not going to be like peeling apart on you as you go through life, man. This thing looks like it can be thrown in a washing machine and just abuse the hell out of it. And it's still going to be a great bag. And it's probably going to look better as you beat the hell out of it. So either way, I ain't no expert on this kind of stuff. I just learned about this new thing called sling bags, man. <laughs> either way, man, I got to get out of here and make some more videos. Make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments section. And I'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is that why you were here?